Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at coin up wolf hole. And they don't make them like this anymore. Uh, to say the least. Anyway, uh, this one here, basically the, the coin slider would not spring back. So in order to take this mechanism out, basically we need to open the box, of course. This particular one's an ESD lock on it. And it has this long nut that goes through here, connects through there, that hole, and then screws into here. And so basically you need something to take and unscrew this screw to get that out. And then you can see it's sort of like slotted, so you have to lift up on this to pull it out. So you lift up on this. You can see these have a sort of slot on them. You lift up and pull it out. So anyway, what we can see is basically the springs have broken. See, the springs are not attached. They should be attached here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take a needle nose and then bend a little, uh, a little hook on the end of these springs, and that should fix it. And then also, we're going to talk about how to upgrade your coin input. And we may or may not be able to do that on this one. It depends on what's under this cover. Or if you have extra uh, coin uh, fittings, then we can put the coin fittings in there. But uh, let's fix the spring first, and we'll talk about this other thing here. Okay, so you can see that what I did is I put a small little uh, hook on the end of that spring. And that should bring the spring back to life. And so here we see we do have extra... Uh, coin uh, pieces here so we can fill in the rest of these these plastic ones with coin sliders so this will make this a dollar this will make a two dollar washing machine well, a two dollar wash for this and so now I just need to find a good key for this I may have to drill this out because when I got this it didn't have a key so Anyway, uh, in order to take these out, of course, you have to take this screw off here and then pull and then take this off and then pull this out. And so let's do okay, that. Okay, we got it all apart. Now, this thing here, this actually goes, it goes like that. Uh, this part faces the bottom. And that is the slide mechanism. These screws have to come out, these three screws, and then we're going to replace these plastic dummies with these insert. Okay, so if you take this apart, you see these things come out like this, basically. And set in just like that. And these are notoriously tight. So if you're using a dollar store screwdriver, it might break, so be careful. And so that, that goes, goes back on there. And these screws go in here. And helps to have a nice heavy-duty screwdriver the right size. These are a little bit smaller than the normal screws. Let's see if I can do this with a magnetic screwdriver. So they're a little bit smaller size than this one I'm using right now. So these screws, you have to have the right screwdriver for them. And that should go right in. And that's how you change, upgrade your coinage action. So basically, I always lube these when I put them back together. And let's see if I've got some lube for this. And I also have a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. If you're interested, I take two students a year. And you can contact, contact me um, through the comment section and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed I also give phone advice for $25 and so let's put this thing back together see how this works so we got everything in here and everything's nice and tight should actually put a couple drops of oil on it but we're just gonna try it okay I forgot this part here is where the extra pieces go you could possibly drill these out to make them coinage action, but these are the dummies to lower the action. And so, and then this piece goes on top of here, but first we need to slide it in. Go 
Okay, so it sometimes it will stop here. So you need to just jiggle it, jiggle it a little bit to push it all the way through. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on. And once again, these are the hooks for the springs. And they are the also the cover for these the coin uh, doodads. It's a technical term here, doodad. Okay, and this should be fairly tight here as well. And of course this goes back on here. Right about there. Small screws. And you can see this screw has Loctite on it, which is good, um, to hold it in place. Otherwise, just make sure they're nice and tight. Need a little bit more accurate screwdriver on this one to get a good bite on it. Okay, that one should be good. And ESD slides and locks are definitely different from Greenwald. Different. Similar, but different. And then, let's see, you can see that the springs connect right there on those. So now we're back in spring action. And then this thing here will go on the bottom of this. Like so. These screws here. And remember to lube. Also, if your coins are not cleaned out, they will jam the slider up. So if you don't, if your coin box is all full of coins, then basically they're going to be backing up. And then so this thing here, this is the coin guide basically. And this thing here, we need to make sure that it's sitting where it should be. You can see it's got little clips on it that hold, sort of hold it in place. You could probably glue it in place, but it should be right about there. For some reason, it doesn't want to stay. It has plastic clips on it, but it doesn't seem to want to stay in place. Uh, let's see if we can line this up better. Should be right there, and it should just pop in. Okay, there it is. All right, so there's that thing, that note about that. Then we're gonna put this back together, lube it, and we should be all good to go. And if we put this all back together, we should be all good to go. So ideally what you'd want to do is, of course, test it with a couple of coins. And make sure it's going to work okay. After you've lubed it. And just make sure all the screws are nice and tight. Be careful not to over tighten. And use the right screwdriver, please. Yeah, yeah, that one's tight. Okay, we're gonna get some coins and we're gonna check this and then we're gonna put it back in. Okay, we got the coins in, let's give it a try. Yippee, it works. Okay, so now, with this thing all lubed, we're gonna set this thing back in here. So basically, you kinda lift up on it a little bit, sidewind it in there somehow. And up and over that plastic funnel deal. And then we kind of lift up and then set it down. And then we take this long screw here and try and fish it through there. Normally what I do, because I only have one hand, I will pull this out slightly and I'll show you. And then 
set this so that it's poking out right there and not sticking out just flush with that edge and then it's easier to fish through uh, it's easier to fish through and get it lined up right there and just so it's flush and then let's see if we can do this no I can't do it with one hand so basically you get the idea you have to hold this in place then pop that in like I showed you okay all right, should be good to go. Thanks for watching.